If you'd have told me in 2008 that the main star of Twilight would be playing Batman in 2022, I would not have believed you. What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you my ranking of all the live action Batman actors. Now I know that Kevin Conroy is beloved in the Batman community and the voice acting community in general, but I am not going to put him on this list. You can kind of objectively count him as the best Batman. I just want to go through the live action portrayals of this character as we just got the new Batman film directed by Matt Reeves with Robert Pattinson donning the cowl. And before I get into this ranking, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below your ranking or your favorite Batman, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out future Batman videos coming this week. So easily coming in dead last for me is George Clooney, who played Batman in the 1997 film Batman and Robin. Now the thing about Clooney's Bruce Wayne and Batman is the fact that it just feels so misplaced. They just wanted to find one of the most handsome men in Hollywood to play this character, and he doesn't really do anything unique to really stand out in the crowd of Bruce Wayne or Batmans, and I just don't understand this casting at all. Again, it's very bizarre, and I really forget that George Clooney ever played this character. Nothing against him as an actor, I really do like his work in other movies, but him as Bruce Wayne, especially in Batman, Batman and Robin just feels really bizarre. Not far in front of George Clooney is going to be Val Kilmer, who played Batman in Batman Forever. This movie, again, is extremely cheesy and is directed by Joel Schumacher, just like Batman and Robin. These are probably two of my least favorite Batman films. I'm going to have a ranking coming soon. But Val Kilmer just feels so strange. A lot like George Clooney, it's just this mega movie star playing Bruce Wayne, but not really bringing anything unique to the character. Just playing a very bland and vanilla version of Bruce Wayne. He obviously has the look down when it comes to looking like this suave billionaire playboy, but that doesn't do enough for me. And as Batman, Batman, he doesn't have any distinctive features from a voice or a fighting style. He's just kind of there. There's nothing remarkable about him, just like with Clooney, and he's barely above George Clooney, simply because I think he is a better Bruce Wayne. Next on my list is going to be the one that started it all, Mr. Adam West, who plays Batman in the 1960s television series, as well as the Batman 1966 movie. Now, the 60s Batman is vastly different than the Batman we get now, but something that makes it stand out is the fact that it is extremely cheesy, and it's tacky as hell. But there's something so endearing about the 60s Batman, and I think Adam West just has that cool nature to him where you can believe that he would be a dude that can kind of smooth talk his way through situations. And he's also the first man to ever don the cowl in live action, especially on the big screen. So I got to pay respect to that. Adam West is definitely more remarkable than Clooney and Kilmer. Next is the most overhated actor to ever play Batman, Ben Affleck, or Batfleck as we like to call him. Now, Ben Affleck plays Batman in Batman vs. Superman. And then, of course, in Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League. And he has a minor role or cameo even in the 2016 Suicide Squad movie, which is an abomination. Affleck is basically playing an older version of Bruce Wayne, sort of like in Dark Knight Returns, but not really that old yet, where he's more brutal, more unhinged, and he's absolutely jacked. And I totally bought into this role, especially when he goes up against Superman and he's got his suit rocking and he says, tell me, do you bleed? You will. That's one of my favorite lines from that movie. But when it comes to Ben Affleck, I really like his portrayal of Bruce Wayne. I buy into him as this very brooding billionaire, and Affleck just has this way about him where he can deliver lines in such a cool way. Especially that line from the Snyder Cut where he talks about how he bought the bank. He looks like Bruce Wayne to me. He plays the part of Batman extremely well, and he kicks a lot of ass, especially in that warehouse scene in BVS. I never understood the hate Batfleck got, and I wish he got more of a chance to be in an actual great movie. So before I get into the top three, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below your ranking of the Batman actors. So number three on my list is going to be Michael Keaton, who played Batman in the Tim Burton era films Batman 1989 and Batman Returns. And Keaton is just classic. He owns the role of Bruce Wayne. The way he's able to smooth talk with Vicki Vale and have a little bit of a relationship with Catwoman. He has a lot of limited time as Batman, in my opinion. Like, he might be the Batman with the least time in the actual suit, especially in Batman Returns. His delivery of, I'm Batman, and all these other great lines, he just embodies Batman to me. Like, there's different iterations of Batman for sure. This version of Batman's definitely campy at times, but Burton's gothic style shines through, so it's got a darkness to him as well. And I just just like what he does with the role and it also says something that he's coming back in the flash movie and batgirl so i'm really excited to see how they utilize him in current day DC projects. And then there were only two. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for. My runner up for my favorite live action Batman is Christian Bale, who obviously played Bruce Wayne in Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy. Bale is the Batman I grew up with, and when I think of Bruce Wayne, my mind automatically goes to Christian Bale. I've watched his movies for years, and he's a significant part of one of the best trilogies ever. We get a lot of Bruce Wayne in the Dark Knight trilogies. We get to see Bruce train, we get to see him struggle, especially in his relationship with Rachel and his family relationships, and his role as like this business head of a company. He's also a really great Batman who's responsible for the iconic where's Rachel very deep voice that's definitely the most standout feature of any of the Batman Christian Bale is just a fantastic actor and he owns this role he is iconic he's the Batman I grew up with and for the longest time he was the best Batman until the Batman came out in 2022 and he was dethroned you heard that right my number one Batman is Robert Pattinson I knew from the moment he spoke and started to voice over in this film that we were in for something special and damn is he a great 
Batman. This movie gives us about 90 to 95 percent Batman, and it's all at nighttime. This movie is straight up detective Batman, like from the Arkham video games. Robert Pattinson's acting chops really shine through here. He's very damaged, especially as Bruce Wayne, as he's dealing with the corruption of Gotham. He's still finding his role in Gotham as well. He's only a year two Batman, and I love the way that he acts the hell out of this role. He's a very brooding, and I would even say gloomy Batman at times, but he pulls it off, and he just embodies what the Cape Crusader is, especially when he is kicking ass as Batman. Bale's a little more over the top in his voice, and this is a much more realistic and believable voice. I love the way he fights, his suit is badass, everything about this Batman clicks for me. He's the best Batman to me right now, I know a lot of people would still say Bale or Keaton, but after we get two more movies, I feel like he's going to solidify himself as everyone's number one. It's crazy how Robert Pattinson has come so far from the Twilight movies, but I think this is the role that's going to finally earn him respect from everyone in the world. But that's going to do it for my ranking of all the live action Batman. Definitely let me know yours in the comments down below. Is Pattinson at the top? Is Bale at the top? If you haven't seen the Batman yet, do you think Pattinson could be at the top? Let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I have a ton of Batman content coming out the rest of the week. I have a few Batman videos coming to Patreon this month as well if you want to get some extra videos and also go the extra mile and support the channel. That is linked down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.